In this video, you'll see how to set up Amazon Elastic Kubernetes Service, or EKS, monitoring with Amazon Managed Service for Prometheus. With this service, you can use a fully managed Prometheus backend to ingest, store, and query Prometheus metrics collected from containerized workloads deployed to an Amazon EKS cluster, and then visualize your data using Grafana. Let's start by navigating to Amazon EKS clusters. The EKS cluster we'll be using is ready to go. Let's create an Amazon Prometheus workspace. Next, we need to enable a Prometheus server with permissions to remote write into this workspace. The steps on how to do this are detailed in the blog post, Getting Started with Amazon Managed Service for Prometheus. Let's open a command line terminal to continue the setup. The blog post we showed includes an executable shell script that creates the necessary AWS Identity and Access Management, or IAM, roles and permissions. We'll run it now. Let's verify the IAM role and permissions. The IAM role was created successfully. Let's verify the policy and trust relationships. This role can be used by a Kubernetes service account with write access to Amazon Managed Service for Prometheus, or AMP. Let's continue the setup. Next, we'll deploy a Prometheus server. Following the implementation in the blog, we'll do this by adding a Prometheus Helm Charts repo. We'll also create a Kubernetes namespace and install Prometheus for AMP using the Helm Charts we added. This command modifies our Prometheus server configuration to deploy the signing proxy and configure the remote write endpoint. The Prometheus server is now ready to scrape metrics from services deployed in the cluster and send them to the specified workspace within Amazon Managed Service for Prometheus via the AWS signing proxy. The next command lets us check all of our Prometheus pods and their running states. Next, let's install and set up Grafana. The metrics collected in a workspace within Amazon Managed Service for Prometheus can be visualized using Grafana. We'll add Grafana's Helm Charts repo, create a Kubernetes namespace, and install Grafana for AMP. Let's check the pods. Now we'll modify our Grafana deployment to enable the SIG v4 protocol that the AWS signing proxy uses to authenticate. Let's check the pods once more to make sure our modified Grafana deployment is running. Next, let's port forward our Grafana deployment so that we can access the UI from our browser. Before we can log into the Grafana dashboard, we must run a command that will give us the auto-generated password. With the port forward command running in the foreground, we'll use another terminal session to get the password. Now we can copy and paste the password to log into Grafana. Before we can visualize the metrics in Grafana, it has to be configured with one or more data sources. Let's specify the workspace within Amazon Managed Service for Prometheus as a data source. The URL we'll enter here is our AMP workspace query endpoint. Let's switch back to AWS to copy it. We need to make sure to only copy the highlighted portion, not the entire URL. Let's go back to Grafana and paste in the copied URL. We'll turn on SIGv4 authentication. We'll also change the default region to the region our AMP workspace and EKS cluster are in. Now let's save and test the data source. The Prometheus data source is working. Let's go back and explore the metrics. Let's query the API server's current in-flight requests. Here are the results of the query. You can configure your Prometheus server to scrape metrics to any container workload in your EKS cluster and visualize the metrics here. You've just seen how to set up Amazon EKS monitoring with Amazon Managed Service for Prometheus. You can learn more about this topic in the description and links for this video. Thanks for watching. Now it's your turn to try.